everyone and welcome to another Zen Free tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how you can do a data transfer from one Google Sheet to another. So let's go ahead and get started. For this example, we're going to be taking a Google Sheet that contains a list of prospects that were interviewed and moving them over to a sheet of users that were hired. So as we can see, we have a list of different users and we have a column that says if they were hired or not. And if they were hired, we have their start date. So we want to transfer the data of those that were hired to this Google sheet that says hired users. So we're going to be able to see two examples. It really only takes two steps to be able to do this process. However, like we mentioned many times before with Zenfi, you can add more steps and make your flow more complex. The first step to any Zenfi flow is to set up your trigger, which in Zenfi is the action that's going to initiate your flow. For this example, we're using the manual trigger, meaning someone has to manually go and click start flow. The reason we chose this trigger is because we want the person to be able to add all of the different users that were interviewed before actually initiating the flow. So once that's done, what we have to do is actually read the information from the Google Sheet. To do that, we're going to use this action called read rows. First, you have to set up your connection to Google Drive, which is going to grant Zenfi permission access to be able to read your Google Sheet. After you create your connection by clicking on the plus icon, you're going to click on authorize. And then you're going to be able to select the Google Drive icon here to select your Google Sheet from your drive. After you select it, you can choose the sheet using this button here. Like we saw, I have two different sheets, one that's called prospects, one that's called hired users. Since the information is contained in the prospects, I'm going to select that Google Sheet. And then if you want to read all of the rows, you would enable this option. If your Google Sheet has a header, you would turn this option on as well and you would load your headers. And as you can see, we're going to be able to see the different columns. And then using this action called query collection, we're able to filter out which users were hired. So here in collection, we would click on this chain icon that's called a token picker. So we would click here, open up the previous action and select the token for the rows. And then here we're going to enable filtering and add one clause. So here I'm going to indicate that I wanted to return the records when the hired column is equal to yes. So to be able to write this, we're going to click on these dials where it says select a path and we would select that column and then you can write different conditions here. And now all we have to do is add that information to our Google Sheet. To do that, we're going to use this action called add multiple rows. Again, set up your connection, select the Google Sheet. In this case, we're going to use the token picker and we're going to select it from our previous action. And then all we have to do is add that information to our Google Sheet. So using the action add multiple rows, we're going to set up our connection once again, indicate the file that we want to add the users to, and then select the sheet. In this case, now we're going to use the hired users. For the collection, we're going to use the token picker and select the rows from the previous action where we filtered. And then we're going to indicate that the sheet has a header. And then what we're going to do is selecting the dials once again, we're going to take the columns from here. So we would choose the name, the job title, and the start date from each one of the columns. And in just three steps, we'd be able to add those users to the other Google Sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and save and test run. And then after we do that test run, I'm going to show you how you can further customize your flow. So we're going to click save, test run, start a new instance, click on start. And as you can see, it has passed over the information for the users, exactly how it was showing here. However, now we're going to see an example of how you would set up your flow if you want to modify the format in which the starting date is shown or any other field. So in this case, what we're going to do is remove the action that would add all of the users previously. So after the query collection, what we're going to do is add a for each loop. We're going to loop through all of the different rows that were filtered. So using the token picker, you would select the rows. And then using this action called format date time, we're going to filter the start date. So clicking on the token picker, opening up the for each loop, I'm going to take the start date and you can choose a different format in case you want to display it in a different way. And then what I'm going to do is create a variable called hired employees. This is an object variable. It has the name, the job title and their start date. So what I'm going to do is add it to the variable. So this action is called set variable. You would select your variable from the drop down menu, select append. And here we're going to select which value belongs to which different parameter. So you would choose the token picker. 
and choose from here. However, for the start date, we would retrieve it from the previous action, so it would be the result of the format date time. And then at the end, what we're going to do is now we're going to add all of the different rows using add multiple rows once again. So set up your connection, select the Google Sheet, the sheet name like we did previously. And now for the collection, we're going to retrieve it from the variable. So if you open it up at the bottom, you can add the token. And now we're going to select each one of the parameters. So it would be select the path and select from here. So now I'm going to save and test run and we'll do a comparison. And here we have it, as you can see, it added the exact same five users. However, this time the way the text in the start date is displayed is different. So if you want to modify any of the fields before adding it to your Google Sheet, this would be the approach that would need to be taken. As you can see, it can be very simple. It really only takes three steps. However, you can make your flow longer and more complex if you want to personalize it even further. If you have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments section and make sure to check out our other YouTube channels. We post tutorials using different triggers and actions for all different sectors. There's also a link in the description to be able to sign up for a free demo meeting with our specialized team at no cost or commitment. Thank you so much for watching.